Hola. Hola. Bienvenidos a Life Speed Spanish. Bienvenidos. This is number 47 for beginners and today we're talking about emphatic structures. 47 yeah. already. Already, wow. yeah. And this suggestion comes from Caleb. Hola, Caleb. Hola, Caleb. Oh, Caleb. Caleb sent a lot of suggestions, yeah, yeah which we've got for other times. So, and then you call him Caleb, yeah. Caleb. Yeah. Caleb. <laughs> Entonces, nos vemos en la segunda parte. Okay, so Caleb's saying, it's been a while. It has. It's been a while. It's been a while. Um, the English language has emphatic tenses using the word do. Yeah. And... Emphatic tenses. Or oh, emphatic sentences, I suppose. Like, I do Structures. like... I do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 So, what, what, he's, what he's saying is, when we say, well, I do like that, yeah, yeah, or I don't like this, but I do like that. Yeah. So, he's saying, does Spanish have those emphatic sentences? We do. We do indeed. You do? We do indeed. The do. We do do have... <laughs> The no, do, the do. we do have. Do no? have. Do have. We, you can't say we... No, it has to be we do. Yeah. We, we do, do have, have, yeah. You can say we, we have. have. Yes, we have. But we do. We do. Yeah. So, let's first of all just take a step back and look at the do. When we say we do have something, that do is what's called an auxiliary verb. Yeah? I don't know if that's an auxiliary verb there. I don't know if it acts as a verb there. Is it a verb there, or is it act? Does it act as a verb? That's what I mean. Do you have when it? It's yeah, that's an auxiliary verb. Uh huh. Do you have? Yeah. Okay. Because the the main verb is have. Yes. We do have. There's no difference, is it? We do have them. Maybe maybe it's the auxiliary verb, or maybe or maybe not. For the maybe, moment, yes, we'll call not. it the <laughs> we'll call it the auxiliary verb for the moment. Okay. What it is, it's a, it's a verb that, that helps the sentence along. That's why it's called an auxiliary verb. And in Spanish, it's called... El verbo... El verbo auxiliar. Auxiliar. Same, same word, which is helper. Yeah? If you want to ask for... Shout, if you want to shout for help in, in Spanish, mm -hmm. you ask for auxilio, no? Auxilio. Socorro as well. Socorro. Yeah. Auxilio. Yeah. Auxilio. Yeah. Help. So <laughs> that's what the do verb does. And, and if you notice that, it doesn't do anything else except do in present. Do, and then in the negative, don't. Yeah? Mm -hmm. But also does. Mm -hmm. Yeah? I do, you do, he does, we do, they do. Yeah? Yes. So do it does. Yeah? That doesn't exist in Spanish. No. There, there is no do word. It's not... Hacer, we don't need the, it. Don't need it. We don't yeah. need it because we have the question mark or the um, exclamation mark at the beginning of a question or a statement. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the only language that has the uh, yes. question mark at the beginning. Yeah. Yes. The, yeah. So what? Let's let's just look at. The, first of all, let's look at a comparison. If I say. Do you have a dog? That's our question in English. In Spanish, what do we say? Tienes un perro. Okay. I mean, you could say, have you got a dog as well, yeah? You could say that both ways. Do you yeah. have a dog? Have you got a yeah, dog? Yeah, we can. But have you a because dog? We, but we say, do you have a dog? Much, much more. It's, mm -hmm. it's what we, we, lean, we lean toward, yeah? So what you said is, tienes un perro. Yes. Okay. Now, I don't know if you saw, you saw it because I wrote it, the question mark at the front. <laughs> I don't know if you, yeah. you can't see the question mark when Cynthia's saying it, but, but you can hear it in a voice. Yes. How did you say it again? Tienes un perro? Question. Yeah. So that has to be, um, and then I say, then I say, si, tengo un perro. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now that could be, yes, I have a dog. But that's not how we would say it in English. Yes, well, in I English, do have a dog. I do. Or just I do. I do. I do. We don't have I do 
we would say, sí. Sí, tengo. Well, I do, sí. Uh -huh. I do have a dog. <laughs> sí, tengo un perro. Yeah. That would be the longer... So, but the short one would be sí. So we've got... You couldn't say sí tengo. Well, you, sí tengo. Yes, you could, I mean, sí you, could say, you could say sí tengo. Yeah. Sí tengo, yeah. yes, but... Um, yeah. Yeah, you could, actually. So we've got... What we've got in English is this do that floats about. And don't. Yeah. Um, don't you... Uh, don't you like it? How would you say that? No te gusta? Yeah. And that is... It is not pleasing to you? So in in Spanish, all that they do is they say exactly the same sentence as an affirmation, but with a question. So you have a dog. It isn't pleasing to you. That's that's how they do the do. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's how we do the do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And the don't is exactly the same. It isn't pleasing to you. Uh, uh, now the the thing is translating. Um, Do you not? Do you not have a dog? Yeah. Do you not have a dog? Is going. No tienes. No tienes un perro. Yeah. Which is, you don't have a dog. No. You, you see, I can't even say the sentence without the word don't. I can't. Uh, you not. You not have dog. You not have dog. That's what they say. Yeah. Yes, but the, the, this do don't does. This is the auxiliary verb. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But this is not the emphatic, emphatic one. Um, Caleb was talking about yes, is it? Well, it's all or the do is 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 across it. Well, let's come to the the next bit. Okay. So I, I I Cynthia says, do you have a dog? Tienes un perro, okay? And I say no. No tengo ningún perro, pero sí tengo un gato. Exactly. Yeah. So what I've said in English is I don't have any dogs. But I do have a cat, right? And that's this emphatic. Exactly. We would have a C for the I do. I do like it. I do. Mm, and it's it always whatever. Pero, pero sí me gusta. Sí, es un, yeah. We we added C. Yeah. So that's when we when we want to say I don't have this, but I do have this, or I don't like this, but I do like this. It's always pero sí, and then I like this. Yeah. Um, in English, you can have the do, the did as well. I did do it. Yeah. Yeah? Uh-huh. Or I did it. I did do it. Yes? Yeah. So we would say, si sí, lo hice. So lo hice, I did it. Si sí, lo hice, I did do it. I did do it. Yeah? But yeah. I think that's that's all for you guys. Don't You don't have any more, any, any other no. tense that you could do that, yeah? No. So... Because we could do, si lo he hecho. I, you would have to say, I, I have, have done, done it. it. Yeah, because that's another emphatic, You can't it? say, I, I do done have done it. You can't say no. that. So what we no. can, we could say, si lo he hecho. Si lo yeah. he hecho. Yeah. So we can... Um, so our, our have replaces the do as, as the emphasis, yeah? So, mm, yeah, your language, it's a bit limited there. You would have to change the emphasis in the actual sentence. Yeah. Because you can't add the do. Uh -huh. However, we add the C in almost every tense, I guess. So exactly the same applies in the past as well with the did. You know, mm -hmm. did you did you have? It's even more like didn't you didn't you have a dog? Didn't you used to have a dog? How would you say that? No tenías un perro. So it's, it's basically just using no for the, the didn't with a question, yeah? Uh -huh. And, oh, you used to have a dog, right? Tenías un perro antes, no? Yeah. So it just, it's just exactly the same thing. Tenías, used to, mm -hmm. yeah? Um, the same as didn't, you know? Uh, as you say, I didn't do it. Mm -hmm. I didn't do it. I didn't do it, no lo hice. Yeah. And the, 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 the Spanish people say, I, I not did it. Yeah. I not did exactly. it. Exactly. That's why yeah. we struggle so much with the did and... <laughs> and my friend, my, my friend, our friend, in fact, yeah, 
I keep stealing friends. Have you? <laughs> you yeah, you, you're actually in a, my in a previous well. video. I said it was my friend, <laughs> actually our friend, but um, David David from from Burgos, and uh, he sent me a, um, a, a question saying, Gordon, do Gordon, yeah. do we are do we oh, are going do we are going to the restaurant? Yeah, do we are? Yeah. It's very tough, isn't it, for, it's tough. for people who don't, who've never used an auxiliary verb like that. It's tough because you don't use it with can either. Can doesn't take do. The verb to be doesn't take do. You have to learn those things. Some mm -hmm. questions don't have do, others do. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> That's it. There isn't one rule and one line, is there? It's yeah. like lots of different things. Like you mm -hmm. say with have, you, you don't use do, you don't say do, do with have. have. With have, you have do sometimes. I mean, yeah. But when you say, have you done it? Have you done it? Yeah. We can't say, do you have done it? No. Yeah. But you can yeah. say... Uh, oh, with have got, I meant. With have got, you can have, say... You can say, do you have or have you got? Have you got. That's a choice. Yeah. You give us a bit of choice. Do you, you have, You can say yeah. these two ways. <laughs> it's very tough for us. I used to have a, um, a, an English teacher who, who I was helping with the Spanish. And when I used to say, have you got? She used to look at me and say... It would be better to say, do you have? Have you got a moment? She didn't like the got. I've heard, I've heard that. I think she thought no? the got was a little bit colloquial. Oh, oh, I don't know. I've heard yeah. it though, I've heard it a lot. No, so I, I, I've got children. Oh, you have children, she used to say. Okay. You know those, you know those people who, uh, and this is a lovely way of, of helping people. Cynthia does it all the time to me. When somebody says something and so you repeat back what they've said with the correction in it. <laughs> So that if you, I mean, this, this, be aware, lots of people do this. So they'll repeat yeah. it back to you and they'll correct it for you. You've got to be aware, you've got to listen to it and go, ah, you've corrected that for me, haven't you? Not always, because sometimes you're just affirming what the other person is saying. Yes. Okay. And in not Spanish, always it, it's not always a correction. It's also very, very confusing when you get this situation and somebody goes, Yo tengo un perro. And the person who is listening says, Ah, tienes un perro. And, and they think, oh, They're correcting me. You see? I've conjugated the verb wrong. And they go, Si, tienes un perro. That's what yeah. I mean. I've got exactly. a dog. Oh, you've got a dog. Yes, you've got a dog. <laughs> that, that's it. The whole sentence has got this to hell in a handbasket. Because <laughs> the person's gone, Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You just told me you had a dog. I haven't got a dog. Que no, que no tengo perro. Ah, que no tengo perro. <laughs> well, didn't you have a student who learned all of the you, thinking it was I, yeah. because of all the all the questions? I had a student who went to Spain and lived there for two years. He was just a youngster, and he yeah. went to school. And in two years, he only learned the two form. Yeah. So that was his only conjugation. So when when I talked to him, he, he, I used to say. Como estás? And he used to say, estás bien. Yeah, like, it's got to be confusing. How are you? You're fine. <laughs> yes, but how are you? No, you're fine. I'm telling you, I'm, you're fine. So it, what oh, a job bless. to try and get it, even get yes. a Joe in there, just to get a Joe. Yeah? <laughs> I mean, it's the ultimate empath, isn't it? The ultimate empath. Yeah, I don't say I anymore. <laughs> I don't identify with the I anymore. Yeah? Very difficult. So, okay, so there you are. The, it's much more simple in Spanish. All of the do's and the did's and everything, just a question. If you're asking a question and when so, you want to say, yes, I do, you see. Three do's. Yeah? Huh? Do as a verb. Yeah. Which is the action. The doing. I'm doing something. Okay. Hacer, hago, hacer. Hacer. Yeah. So, for example, um, I'll do it later. Yeah? That's... Lo, like hago, lo hago más tarde. Yes. The do as an auxiliary verb, which we don't have. Okay. Do you like... Um, do you... Oh, in questions. Mm -hmm. In questions. Um, and answers like, I do. Um, because it's not the verb to do. 
And the third do would be the emphasis. I do like it. Mm -hmm. I did do it. Okay, which would be a C si in Spanish with, okay. an, with an accent. Okay. See, if you just said that at the beginning, we could have saved the last 15 minutes. Well, I, I could have, but you, I know, you had I, something to say. Down. I did. I wanted to say something as well. That's why I'm here. Um, indeed. Indeed. But you have missed the other do. Which yeah, do? You see, it's good job I'm here, which is the party. We're having oh, a do. We're having a do. We're having a do. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want do. to come to our do? Yes, I do. Want to come to the do? Yeah. <laughs> do we do we do? Do we do? Okay. <laughs> so there you are, uh, Caleb. I hope that's answered your question and for everybody Poor else Caleb. as well. He's more confused after no, after watching that our was videos. Bloody lovely, that. <laughs> bloody lovely. Okay. So before we, I was going to say I'll give you some sentences. And homework in the... Ah, uh, no, that's in, the other one. No. That's in Sergio. This, this is not Sergio. Yeah. I want to just bring your attention to this book because out of all of the books, this is the only one that, for whatever reason, Amazon doesn't seem to want to promote. Like, what I mean is, if you put in Lightspeed Spanish, this one doesn't come up. I don't know <laughs> why. I've tried. Anyway, it's a book that we designed for kiddies. Yeah. yeah? And it's the idea is, it's a book that's designed for parents to read to the children. So it's kind of like it helps parents to learn Spanish and it also gives the children a nice read. All the, the illustrations are done by Cynthia. Cynthia did the ball. Yeah, we sort of kind of, we, we tried to be a bit more creative in this book, yeah? That's true. This book is a story about the colors and it's a fun story and, and I've tried it on children and they, they love it. They love it. Um, it's, it's a parallel text story as well. Okay, so uh, you, you know what you're reading. At the back, we've designed it so you've got flashcards as well. So you basically just cut that out and fold it over and then you can flashcard with your children and it helps them to grow, uh, to grow their vocabulary. Mm -hmm. You can flashcard yourself as well, actually. Um, and then at the very back, we have, because you've got a job to do, you've got to read it out and you've got to pron pronounce it right. So we give you like, the ways of pronouncing it and phonetically yeah so this there's a fair bit of, it's, a, it's a nice book it comes with an audio as well that you download so you can listen to Cynthia reading the story as well okay so it's called the colors and the balcony of terror yeah? <laughs> for kids for kids yeah it's kind of in the in the Roald Dahl style the balcony of, of death. darkness <laughs> dark children things no but it's 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 fun. it's a little story about them uh, uh, all collapsing on a balcony. So I, I don't want to do a spoiler, yeah? And they all die. <laughs> <laughs> but one. Which one? Which one? <laughs> Mr. Blue? No, they don't Okay. Die. They don't Entonces, die. eso es todo, chicos. And by the way, if you're interested in the book, I'll put the link in the, uh, in the information on the video, yeah? Eso es todo, chicos. Y nos vamos. Y nos vemos. Hasta luego. Adiós. Adiós.